Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we've got this 2014 Audi RS5 and the customer's complaint or concern is that he is hearing some sort of suspension noise when going over bumps on the front left, uh, let's call it corner area. Nothing that's too, too crazy or loud. It's just kind of uh, every so often kind of hear a knocking or rattle and he just wants it looked at to see if it's anything crazy to be concerned with or something that uh, he'd be okay living with. Um, one thing is he has had suspension work done to it, basically aftermarket lowering, uh, but all good components. So he just wants to know what the noise he's hearing at times is on the front left area. So today we will try to see if we can isolate that see if we can find the cause and if there's something that we are going to be able to do here during this visit okay so here's a look at underneath um some point last year or within this year uh we did do all the control arms uh he sourced all it was like a kit so it was all the arms this arm this arm and uh up top the uh upper arms there as well and prior to that uh, he had gotten an upgraded or a thicker uh, sway bar with the adjustable uh, end links there the only thing visually that I'm sort of seeing is there on that bolt for that sway bar it looks like the uh, urethane bushing is a little bit torn but um, everything sort of seems tight uh, just crude tests. What I'll do is I'll bang some of the arms and components and try to listen for a rattle. And nothing really is uh, popping out or occurring at the moment. So I think I am going to try to hook up this scope, take a test drive, and see if I can catch the source of the noise. Okay, so I've decided to connect to three points on the suspension. And basically what I'm going to use to uh, basically graph out the noises on the scope is these regular um, chassis ears with the wired chassis ears that have been out for a while. And I'm able to connect them to the scope with these adapters that I make. And with that, we'll be able to take a drive and simultaneously catching noises in all three spots and hopefully one of them will be the one that's making the noise okay so to get you a shot <clears throat> the three points that I picked now these are just kind of random points because um, just just because I, I, we can't find anything that's physically loose on visual inspection so I'm just picking three spots the top one there to hopefully maybe catch if there's any type of strut uh, noise, bearing noise, cap noise up there. So I've got that tied to that uh, frame there. And then the other second one is on that bolt that hopefully will capture if there's any type of noise from those two joints. And the third I've got on the sway bar uh, link there. And obviously, we're going to have to check once the car is loaded down on the suspension that none of these clamps will interfere with anything. And make sure to route the cables out of the way. Alright, so I got my three leads. As far as the channels and location, blue channel A is on the top strut bracket housing red the second channel is on the um, upper joint arm uh, area and the last one the green one is on the uh, sway bar link so I've got my scope set up as far as my setting voltage I like to use uh, and found that uh, the voltage level of 200 millivolts is what works best for capturing uh, noises with these uh, uh, chassis ear microphones and so with that I will increase the time and then we'll go for a ride and try to hit some bumps
Okay, so I am going over that uh, crease right there. It's good enough for the driver's side uh, wheel area to make the knocking noise. I know you probably can't pick it up on camera, but uh, let's uh, again let's, let's watch the traces there and see what we got. So I will go forward and hit that bump. That was forward. We'll back over it. And then we'll go forward again. Let me wait for the uh, screen to start over. So, let's see. So far, as far as what we are capturing and seeing, is the green channel. Is grabbing the most noise amplitude and level. So the blue there gets a little bit, the red, a eh, little action. So these two just, let's call it minute compared to the level of amplitude again with the green. So this here, this clear picture. So the green is doing the loudest knocking noise. Okay, so yeah, right now it looks like the sway bar link, uh, even though despite unloaded when you knock it, there is no rattling noise, uh, but we clearly do see that the bushing is uh, wore out, and uh, you know, this one can be easy without necessarily using the scope if you want to guess and throw parts at it because of how it visually looks, despite the fact that unloaded, it is tight and not rattling. But loaded, we clearly see uh, we're seeing what we were suspecting by the visual inspection. But again, this lets us not take an incorrect guess because it almost can sound like the strut, uh, a, top, a top strut mount uh, bearing issue or whatnot, especially because we have aftermarket suspension. Uh, but again, we will not make the wrong call uh, based off verification with the scope. So, yeah. Now, just the one last thing is to verify, make sure all our microphones are still attached. That way we know we are capturing noises. So, I'm going to pull it back in, take a look, make sure all our chassis ears are still clamped. And uh, if they are, we can make a good assessment call. Okay, so this is what kind of I uh, was concerned with based off the placement and how low the vehicle gets. So the red channel clamp was not on. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try to put it on one of those top arms um, just to try to verify Despite the fact that it looks like it is sway bar link, I just want to confirm, make sure nothing up higher is causing the noise. Okay, so I've got it on that, the right arm there in the back. You can see the clamp in the middle. So I'll drop it. Hopefully nothing gets in the way. And we'll take another ride.
Hey, we're ready to come up on the bump. Okay. Green still looks like the strongest amplitude. Alright, perfect. Again, we'll double check the clamps. Uh, make sure we are good. Okay, and just to kind of reiterate or explain how these will work, uh, since obviously I didn't do that much beforehand. So we once we connect these chassis ears, um, and you can tell it's picking up some action. So, yeah, if, if anywhere where it's connected that you're trying to capture a noise, if there's a noise, this will pick it up and the scope will graph it out. Now, the beauty of this is, unlike the chassis ear setup, that you have to pick one singular channel to hopefully try to capture the noise when it happens and be on the right channel at, at when it happens. So this, you don't have to pick a specific channel to listen to the noise with headphones. You were visually graphing it out, recording it, whatever you want to call it, as we drive the vehicle. And we can do as many channels as our scope has, and however many chassis ears you have. Um, you know, you can do four at one time. You can do, um, you know, as many as you need to. So you hook these up. They'll capture a the noise, as I showed here. So let's let it refresh. So if I tap on it. There you go, it's capturing noise. And then if I do it with the metallic, you can see how it graphs that out. And then it'll even do, see that kind of grinding, rubbing noise? So it'll capture a bunch of stuff. It, it It's even able to capture vibration um, if it's strong enough. But if you can see, just shaking it will capture something so very useful uh, helps you get out of jams helps you make the correct calls um, so I figured I'd just try to explain the concept real quick all right so that's it on this one I hope you took something from it uh, using the scope to be able to capture noises something I've been using for a little bit now uh, it makes it very helpful useful to make the right call and get you out of a jam so with that Thank you for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed and we'll move on to the next one.